हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस वी आर स्टार्टिंग चैप्टर एट ऑफ यूनिट थ्री विच इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू थाउजेंड टेन द पार्ट थर्ड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दीज टू टॉपिक्स दैट इज ओपनिंग एन एग्जिस्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट एंड एडिटिंग अ डॉक्यूमेंट राइट सो वी हैव थ्री वेज टू ओपन अ ओपन डायलॉग बॉक्स फर्स्ट इज क्लिक फाइल टैब एंड क्लिक ऑन ओपन सेकेंड मेथड इज क्लिक ओपन बटन ऑन क्विक एक्सेस टूल बार एंड थर्ड मेथड इज टू प्रेस कंट्रोल एंड ओ की फ्रॉम द की बोर्ड राइट सो द इफ यू चूज एनी वन ऑफ दिस ऑप्शन ओपन डायलॉग बॉक्स विल अपेयर ऑन ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड सेलेक्ट द रिक्वायर्ड फाइल यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन क्लिक ऑन इट एंड क्लिक द ओपन बटन राइट सो लेट सी हाउ दिस वर्क दिस इज योर एम एस वर्ड द फर्स्ट मेथड इज टू क्लिक ऑन द फाइल एंड select this option open this dialog box will appear whatever file you want to open ms word file you can open it right second method is to click on this option from the quick access toolbar this is called quick access toolbar you can add and remove option from here if you don't want some of the options here you can remove also right so you click on this option open option from the quick access toolbar click on the ms word file that you want to open right the third method is control and o so i pressed control and o keys together and i can click on this and i can open any of the any of the document after this dialog box is open i need to select the folder i may need to browse it from here from the fo file folder or location from 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 any drive right so i need to select it and click on the open that op that file will open front of us next is editing a document editing means making correction to it the document is ready now you want to make some of the corrections in it this process include inserting copying moving finding and replacing a particular text in a document right these are the tools or methods you can say to edit a document first of all to edit any text you need to select it until you will not select it it is not going to perform that action copying a text and pasting it moving the text clipboard and deleting the text so let's see how this works first of all selecting the text to perform the editing action we need to select the desired text so we have these various method for like selecting the text first is a word if you want to select a word double click on that word that's it sentence if you want to select a sentence hold down the control key click anywhere on the sentence the sentence will be selected sentence is up to your full stop so that sentence will be selected if you want to select the paragraph just triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of a paragraph right so this is the method of selecting a paragraph next is a large block of text so if you want to select a large block of text click in the beginning of the text press the shift key and click at the end of the text so the large block of the text will be selected if you want to select the entire document you click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key right then pressing the control a or triple click in the selection area so these are the three method of selecting the entire document so let's see how this works so first of all a word if i want to select a word i need to just double click on it the, the word will be selected next is to select a sentence so i need to hold down the control key and press anywhere in the sentence so for example my my this sentence is starting from are you doing till other resources right so i need to i have pressed the control key now i need to click on it right so this is the way to select the sentence this is a paragraph and i want to select it i will just triple click anywhere right so this is the way to select a paragraph the next method is to select a large block of a text so click at the beginning of the text so for example i have let's make it a big sentence so this is a big paragraph now i need to select this what i will do i'll click in the beginning and 
this is the beginning of the text i'll press shift key i've pressed the shift key and without releasing i will click at the end got it now if i want to select my entire file so i can press ctrl a right that is easiest method or i have one more method so triple click anywhere in the selection area then also the entire text will be selected click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key right so these are the method for selecting the text next is copying and pasting the text copying the text means to keep the text at its original location as well as copying it to another location what is the benefit it saves the time and efforts of typing it's helpful in creating multiple copies of same document right so we have three methods of copying and pasting the first is click on the copy button in the clipboard group right at the home tab right and bring the mouse pointer to the place where you want to paste and click on the paste button next is using the keyboard shortcut that is select the text press the control c and then go in the desired location press the control v the text will be copied and pasted the next method is select the uh, desired text right click on the text and in this shortcut menu you will see the copy option click on that go to the, go to the desired location right click again and select the paste option so we have three methods from the clipboard from the right click menu and from the keyboard shortcut right next is moving the text so moving and copying are different in copy the text is available at the original location as well as at the location where you have just pasted it moving means just cutting it from the original location and pasting it to the new location right this feature is allowed to change the position of the selected text from one place to another to move a piece of text we cut it rather than copying it so so we again have three methods first is cut select the text click on the cut button from the clipboard group go on the desired location and press on paste button from the clipboard group itself next is select the de desired text you want to cut and press control x bring the mouse pointer to the location where you want to paste it and then press control v the last method is select the desired text press the cut option from the right click short shortcut menu right and then go to the desired location right click again and select the paste option right so here also we have three methods from the clipboard using the keyboard shortcut and right click shortcut menu so let's see how this works so this is the text we are having if i want to copy it i will select the desired text i can triple click i will select the desired text i will go in the clipboard group copy and i will click here desired location press enter and i will use this option got it so i have used the first method of clipboard second method is i will select the desired text i will right click and copy option i will bring the mouse pointer to the desired location and i will right click here and use the paste option right select the desired text control c go to the desired location and control v so these are the three methods of copy and paste now i want to move the text i want to bring this text at the top right i'll go on the home tab and in the clipboard group i'll press the cut option after selecting the text the text is no more here i'll go to the desired location and i will click on the paste option my text has come here right you see the text is here using the clipboard now i will select the text i will right click and i will cut it i will bring it at the third location in the document so this is at the third location select it control x i'll go at the end and i will control v paste 
Next is clipboard. Clipboard is a temporary storage location that can be used for short term data storage or data transfer operation between document or applications. Moving the text, the selected text disappears when you use the cut option. Where does the text goes? So when we are when we use cut or copy text is kept on the clipboard. When we when we copy the text is copied. So where it is contained it is contained in the clipboard. When you cut also then also it is contained in the clipboard, right? In the same way copying when using the copy paste operation the selected text remains in the clipboard until you copy a new piece of text on a document right so there is two clipboards one is office clipboard and one is windows clipboard right so by default every task that is being copied goes to the windows clipboard unless we explicitly call the office clipboard right so office clipboard makes quick work of copying multiple items right it allows us to store up to 24 items right we can go in the home tab in the clipboard group dialog box launch i'll show you this dialog box in some time so let's see it practically we were talking about clipboard so like i cut it right click cut so where the text is contained it is contained in the clipboard right now right now if i copy this and then i copy this content now this is a home tab ms word is a part of windows right so this is a windows clipboard right if i click this it will show the task pane of the clipboard right so whatever i will copy it will be displayed here so let, let me copy this also so this has also come here now i can go anywhere and i can paste as many time I want to paste so this is the function of our office clipboard right so you can open it and close it from here right so if if you will copy some other part of the text it will also be there now you see you have three text here if I want to choose this first line that will be that will also come here now so you want to use some other like you want to paste this now so you can paste if you want to keep mouse pointer here now you want to paste it so any one you want any text that has been selected in the past will be shown here and you can select the desired and paste as many time you want right so this is a office clipboard i hope you are clear with this so deleting the rest it is very simple there are two methods select the text and press the delete key from the keyboard or select the text press the backspace so these are the two methods for deleting it